afternoon everyone. Maria here from the Mooney Valley Libraries. Welcome to the Six Plus Club. Before we begin, I would like to do an acknowledgement of country. We are together on the land of the Wurundjeri Woiwurrung and we would like to acknowledge the ancestors who have taken care of country, land, waterway and sky. We are one with this land. Today we'll be making some decorations for your Christmas tree. We're making three things. The first thing we're making is this reindeer to hang on your tree. I'll show you the equipment you'll need. To make the reindeer, you will need two sheets of coloured paper. You can use white paper and colour it in. A shoe, a pencil, two googly eyes, some pom-poms, ribbon, a pair of scissors, a glue stick and some sticky tape. Now some of these items you might find around the home but if you don't the two dollar shop does sell them. I forgot to tell you you also need your hands for this activity. So grab your first sheet of paper and we have it as landscape that's portrait and that's landscape. So what we do is we get your hand and your pencil and we trace around, including a little bit of the wrist. So just follow your fingers all the way around with your pencil. And that's what your hand will look like. And now we'll do the second hand. Now, of course, your hand's going to be smaller than mine. So a lot these activities are going to be in all different shapes and sizes. There's my two hands. And now it's time to cut them out. So grab your scissors and start cutting out. I've cut out the two hands. These will make up the reindeer's antlers. And now it's time to trace out the body using your shoe. Here we go. Grab your shoe and the second piece of paper and we need to trace around it. Now, of course, my shoe's gonna be way bigger than yours. So I'm gonna have a big reindeer. And there's the outline of my shoe. And now it's time to cut that out as well. Here we go. And there we go. And now I'll show you how to put it all together. First, we need to glue the antlers onto the body. So you grab your glue stick And just on the ends of the wrist here, make sure you put lots of glue. And you just glue it to the back. And do the same for the other one. And that's what it looks like at the back. And that's the front of your reindeer. And now it's time to glue the googly eyes. Again, make sure you use lots of glue One googly eye. And 
And here's our second one. There we go. And now the nose. Again, lots of glue. It's a bit tricky, but it will eventually stick on. And now it's time for the ribbon. So put your reindeer face down, grab your ribbon, and you can make this as long or as short as you like, depending on your tree. I've got a small tree, so I'm just gonna cut it a little bit. Fold your ribbon, grab some sticky tape, and stick it on to the back of the reindeer's head, like that. And there you have it, your first decoration for your tree. The second decoration we're making today is this traditional lantern. I remember making one of these at school. I'll show you the equipment you'll need. Okay, you'll need some coloured paper, some scissors, a ruler, a pencil, some coloured textures or pencils, a glue stick, ribbon and some sticky tape. Okay. This is when we will be using our math skills. Now, when I was a little girl, I asked my teacher, when will I ever need to use maths when I'm older? Well, this is a perfect example. If I didn't know my maths, I wouldn't be able to show you this. So grab your sheet of paper and fold it in half like this and make a crease. And now what we need to do is measure the length across. So grab your ruler. And if you can see that, I'm measuring that across, it's 21 centimetres long. Now, I want my spacing to be every two centimetres. So if this is 21 centimetres, two centimetres into 21 centimetres is not really an even number, it's 10.5. So, what we'll need to do is get your pencil and mark along this page every two centimetres. And if you do that correctly, you should have one centimetre left. Let's start. Okay, so make sure you put your ruler right on the edge of your paper and let's measure every two centimetres to four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. So as you can see, we've spaced it two centimeters apart and the end one is one centimeter. Now what we need to do, where you have your opening, we're going to measure two centimeters in. Okay, from the edge of the page, we're going to measure two centimetres in and I'll just space them out randomly. As you can see, there are my dots. And now we're going to draw a line across. There you go. And now, what we're going to do is draw lines to that line there uh, on every spacing that you've measured. Here we go. And there you have it. Now, this will all make sense in a moment. But see this one centimetre left over? I want you to cut that out. Okay, this is 
the fun part where you get to decorate your lantern. Now this is where you can be very creative. I like to draw stars or you can even draw some love hearts just randomly even maybe a Christmas stocking. I'll try and do it upside down. There you go. Okay, so I have some fun decorating and now I'll show you the next step. Don't forget to decorate the back of your lantern as well. Once you've finished decorating your lantern, you'll need to cut strips up to this line. Make sure you don't cut all the way up. I'll show you what I mean. I'll see if I can do this so I can show you the first one. Up to that two centimeter line there. Continue cutting right up to the line. Once you finish cutting, this is what your lantern will look like. And now the tricky bit. What you need to do is open up your lantern and now you need to fold it this way. And this is where you'll need some glue. So grab your glue stick and we're going to glue the, one of the ends of the lantern. Here we go. Okay, and we're going to fold this flap over to the last flap of your lantern. Can be a bit tricky. And there you have it. And now for the ribbon. Remember, depending on the size of your tree, your rib ribbon can be as long or as short as you like. Okay, grab your sticky tape. Place the sticky tape on one end of the ribbon and Oh, one's upside down. I want my name that way. And just place it inside the lantern like that. And now let's do the other side. There we go. And here's my lantern ready to place on my tree. And now let's move on to our third decoration. We're going to make some homemade bonbons using some recycled materials. Here's what you'll need. You'll need a used paper towel roll or a used glad wrap roll or anything you have some Christmas paper, a ruler, a pencil, some ribbon, scissors, sticky tape, and any little trinkets you have around the house. I found a little Christmas ornament and a chuppa chup. Okay, we'll need to do a bit more measuring. We need to cut this in half. So let's measure the length. This is 20.5 centimetres. I think if we have this, I might just measure 10 centimetres just to make it a bit easier. And this is the tricky bit. You'll need to cut this. So what I do is I just make a little slit like that and then just cut around. Terrific. 
well, you can actually make two bonbons, but we're just going to make one for today. Okay, now what we need to do, this is 10 centimeters, and we need to cut out some wrapping paper. So I will double the length, so from 10 centimeters will be 20 centimeters, and I'm going to add five centimeters. So, grab our pencil and our ruler, and we're going to measure 25 centimeters. So just make a little notch there. And I'm just going to double the width. So from 10 centimeters, it will be 20 centimeters. And now you just need to cut from the 25 centimeter notch to the 20 centimeter notch. And it will have the shape of a rectangle. If they were even measurements, so 25 by 25, it would be a square. Okay, once you have your paper cut out, place whoops, your roll onto the paper. This is where things might get a bit tricky. So I might put my chuppa chup in there as a surprise. So just place it in there and we need to roll the paper nice and tight like that. Make sure your chuppa chup doesn't come out or whatever trinket you put in there. And now you grab your sticky tape and stick it along the wrapping paper. And I like to stick it all the way along to the end. Okay, make sure your chuppa chump's still in there. Okay, and now what we need to do is pinch the ends like that and this is where we use our ribbon now the one I made I cut out my ribbon at 20 centimeters so you need your ruler again it's a bit fiddly and measure it to 20 centimeters and you need two pieces of ribbon. And for the second one, you can just measure using your first one. Okay. Now, you might need mum or dad to help you with this, but some of you are old enough and you can do it yourselves. And all you need to do is tie them off. Can be a bit fiddly so take your time and there you have it whoops my ribbon just fell off didn't tie it tight enough there we go and if you like you can curl the ends of your ribbon using the edge of your scissors. Again, you might need some help with this. It is a bit tricky. So we just curl the ends. And there you have it a bonbon to make for your family with a special surprise. 
Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly had a lot of fun. I just want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a very safe New Year. Enjoy spending time with your family. And we hope to see you in the library soon. Bye everyone.